If you've been around the progressive property community for a while, you will know Heidi Mobs. So hi Heidi, thank you for joining us. Thank you for finally having me. So for many people in the community know who you are, there'll be quite a few people who probably not know you yet or have never heard of you before. So when did you get started in property and I guess why? So funnily enough, my friend went to a training event and came back all excited. Oh, I'm gonna get into property and I thought, God, if you are, I'm definitely going into property and she quit after three weeks and here I am <laughs> full-time in property. <laughs> if you can do it, surely I can. Yeah, I was very, I was very stubborn. Um, so yeah, I started in 2021, set up a limited company, started with a rent-to-rent -rent strategy. I wanted to leave my job was the aim. So yep. I wanted cash flow strategies to, okay. to sort of do that. So obviously you came to multiple streams of property and come back in 2021? Yeah, so I as Officially did the training first, so I did no money down first. Yep. Started the mastermind and then did my soppy, so I did it a little bit backwards. backwards right. So I did okay. it all in the same month and thought, I like stress, let's do it at once. Let's go all in. Yeah, let's go all in. What was your first deal you did after coming here and getting and starting? So I did the whole, I don't feel like I've got any money, I can't start in property, I want to do rent to rent. So I got a, a seven bed um, HMO on a rent to rent with a quite extreme portfolio landlord who was going to give me a lot of his portfolio. Yep. So yeah, I started with a rent to HMO and then quickly got, I think, three or four others the next month. I think I reminded him of when he was younger and I was a bit like, oh, just give us a go, I'll, you know, I'll prove a point, I will take that property on and I'll turn it around. Yep. And it was a very run down property he had and I was like, I'll refurb it for you, I'll add the value, I'll take the risk away. It was awful, genuinely awful. It was covered in rat poo. Tenant poo, terrible property, basically. And then I turned it around, made it look nice. Right. And he was like, oh, okay. A lot of people who juggle property and a job and they find that they can't find enough time to do property while they've got a job. Yeah. Did you do both? Or yeah. did you quit the pro job completely to go full in time in property initially? No, I did both for two years. So after 10 months, I replaced my income. And I quit after two years, so I carried it on and carried it on. So for me, this was a lifelong venture and I wanted to make sure I had that stability. I've got two young children. The career I had was quite serious. I worked in the prison sector. I had a lot to lose. So for anyone who's in a job and trying to do property and blaming the job, yeah. um, you did it with a full-time job, full-time mum, yeah. um, full-time prop, all, all, so job, property and being a mum all mixed in together. I think you can find time to do anything if you want to. I think, first of all, you've got to have a big enough why. Why are you doing it? So for me, I wanted to quit my job before my little and went to school. So right. I was like, right, you've got three years to quit your job. And what's next for Heidi? So where, where is the, the longer term goal from your property business? So I always joke that I just want to go paddle boarding with some cheese and crackers and a Budweiser. <laughs> And not speak to anybody, but no, on a serious note, um, it's replacing everything I've just done with properties I own, and I've got a certain figure I'd like to get to per month in profit. Right. What's your, overall of those 42 properties, what's your sort of positive cash flow per month, roughly? I decided to buy a transporter as well, so it's about, if I didn't have a transporter, about six grand. So the transporter is um, paid monthly out of the business? Yeah, paid monthly out of the business. Okay. So it's a company, <coughs> company, it's a company vehicle, vehicle. But I wanted right. it, it's my little pride and so joy. So six grand a month profit every month after all cost, plus a free transporter included in there. Yeah. That's not bad. Not so bad. if somebody said that to you in 2021, that you'd be at, quit, quit your job, full time in property, six grand a month after covering your costs, yeah. what would you have said to them? I, really, I used to listen to you on this podcast. And I was like, you was my idol when I first met you. And I was like, oh my God, it's Kevin McDonald. Fuck and now the idol. fact that's my <laughs> wife, I'm, I'm, not, I'm nobody's idol. No, but the fact that I'm now on the podcast telling you this story is bloody unbelievable. So yeah. Do you think anybody can do it if they put their mind to it? Yeah. It's, it's important that you said put your mind to it because mm. a lot of people go, oh, I can do that. I've lost money. I've got money. I, all sorts of stuff's happened. You've got to get through them days. But yeah, anybody can do it. Mm -hmm.